Are you ready to dive into some monster shooting? I am too. But anyway, let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. As you can see right in front of you, we have a game called Die After Sunset. This is a first person shooter if I remember rightly. We are playing it on the Nintendo Switch, so that's where we have it. So yeah, we are gonna check this out. But, before we get into it, I want to say a massive thank you to Key Mailer and the devs for providing the key for the purpose of this video. <coughs> I apologise, got a cough. So, I know nothing about the game. This is a first look for the channel. So, yeah, I think without further ado, I think we should just um, get into it. What we're going to do, we're going to check out the tutorial first. So we know what we're doing. So the year is 2120. You've been summoned to fight evil Merkors. But in order to do it, you need to learn some things. Yes, we do. So we're at Waikiki Beach. So I'm guessing this is set in Hawaii. <coughs> we are loading. There we go. Alright, so it's not a first person. The third person? All right. All right, so we've got that, that and that. So, camera is slow. Passive items are automatically picked up and equipped. They have unique effect on you when there's no limit to the equipment. Okay. So, alright, gives you the ability to see, see the outline <coughs> of chests. Alright. The barrels need to be deactivated. Alright, that doesn't say nothing there. Alright, so we have to do double jump here. Doesn't say anything about double jump, so we just had to figure that one out ourselves. All right, so they're timed. Enemies have a chance to draw up mucus. You can use them to enhance your stats in the main menu. You have to save them in the mucus machine. You'll use it. Alright, so there we go. Each level you find random events within. Barrels need to be deactivated. Oh, okay. 
We have to shoot the barrels. Alright, so we have a new chest. Choose your reward, okay. Give me a second. Alright, I think we're going to go with that. Each level we find random events. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's a door. When you complete the event successfully, a chest will appear. Alright, so they don't attack, which is... They're creepy looking. Wow. I have hair in my eyes, so I apologise. So these are the monsters I'm guessing we're going to attack. And they have elemental powers, alright. Oh jeez. Your mission is to defeat all Mooka's bosses and save the, save the timeline from them. Alright. That doesn't seem um, too fun. One cannon always wins, but don't worry. If I defeat it in combat, I'll take you back to your apartment where you can begin the mission again. Alright, so awesome. And finally, don't don't get overwhelmed when you're alone. Find and unlock new characters with special abilities. Alright, cool. Right, there we go. So we did the tutorial. I do apologise. My eyes are very sore. Alright, so... Back to the apartment we go. Hang on. Yeah, back to the apartment. Alright, do you want to play the tutorial? No, because we've just done the tutorial. Which was awesome. I do apologise. I don't know what's going on with my eyes today. They're not very good, so. Then we've got shop start quest. So um, let's start. Let's have a look. Secondary weapon. All right. Let's go. This be um a good bit of fun. Yeah, we've got, we know, we know what basically we need to do. Alright, so, we found the chest straight away. Ah, there's monsters. Where, where did the other one go? I think we completed. No, we haven't completed that yet. That was. That was creepy. That that I almost died. Well, they explode. Well, we found that one out quick, didn't we? Let's try that again. Let's hopefully we don't go kaput this time. So. 
Oh, it's 2019 now. Okay. Alright, so... I don't know where we're going. What's trying to shoot at me? Nothing. What's shooting at me? All right, so I don't know why, but this gives me um gives me Fortnite vibes. Yeah, this definitely gives me Fortnite vibes. It's weird. Yeah, I'm guessing, as you can tell, you have to take out monsters. There was a monster there. So we took that out. I don't know where we actually basically need to go. So we've got Naruto over there. As you guys can tell, I am not a very good FPS person. <coughs> so... I didn't see you there. We're gonna we're gonna leg it. I don't know what's over here, so Right, so what do I need to do to get the crane in control? Just have to climb up here. No, nope, come on. I don't know how I failed that, so. I didn't understand the concept of this level. I got defeated. Um, as you guys can tell, FPS isn't my strong point. It really isn't. But you get the concept of this. 
right? You do get the concept. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there because I keep dying. I'm not too clever at these games. So um, let's just have a talk about it. So yeah, that's um, Die After Sunset. The aim of it is to take out monsters and get to the boss. That's why I'm getting the gist of this one. Um, I'm not too clever with, as you can tell, shooting games because I'm a fighting game person. But I thought I'd check this out. I'll let you guys check it out. <coughs> it gives me, um, definitely gives me Fortnite vibes. Definitely gives me that one. But, uh, I don't know. Camera speed needs to be a lot more faster. You know, beginner like me, eh. Like I said, FPS isn't my thing. But it is enjoyable, it's colourful. I like the monsters. I know I need to learn to just dodge more and everything like that. You know what? I think we should give it another try. Right, so here we go. Let's give it another try. <clears throat> Let's see what else we can do. See if we can actually last a bit longer. I'm guessing those things on the map, they show me where I need events. So maybe I should just get to them. Alright, so I don't know what's going on. Can we go through here? I don't know what's up here. I don't know what to expect. Alright, there's nothing up here. The rockers at the museum. All right, so All right, so we did a little bit there. So there's something. All right, so we've got some little slime bits. We need to find some more shield. That, that'll come in handy. Oh, okay. We're gonna leg it out of there. All right, so we can't do that. I tried. I tried. That's all we can do is try. But there's missions. That's all I can tell you. So give me a second. Right. So again, like I said, this was um 
dead after sunset, uh, die after sunset. <coughs> I've died completely loads. But it's I, it's still an enjoyable game. I need to get the hang of it. Because like I said, I don't get the hang of shooting games straight away. But we tried. It, it's colourful. I can tell you that it's colourful. It does give um, Fortnite vibes. I don't know that's what they're going for, but it, it does give that sort of vibe. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. It's a it's a shooting game. It's a it's a fun shooting game. So if you enjoy that, then go for it. Like I said, it's is on the Nintendo Switch. It might be on other um platforms, but for me, I'm playing it on the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, um, Die After Sunset. Not bad. Not my sort of game. I'm not going to talk um absolute poop about it, just because it's not like my type of game. But it is cool. I need to get more hang of it. I'll play more of it. And then we'll have some more fun with it. So yeah. I've been Marty or Zebra Guy. I hope you want to know me as. Thank you to Keymailer and the devs for supplying the key for this game. Yeah. If you want it, go buy it. Go have some fun. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to talk poop about it. Because just because it's not my type of game doesn't mean it's not everybody else's. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I've been Marty, Zebra Guy. Have everyone know me as. I'll see you guys in another video.